My battery says this is gonna die pretty soon, so I guess I should get started. I'm just gonna take a quick drink. What's up, internet? So again, it's been it's been a few since the last video I did saying I was gonna use my channel more, and then once again, it's without fail. I don't know why I even preface anything because it's exactly the same thing. I just get caught up, and I just am like. I have so many ideas, but I can't do them, and blah, blah, blah. whatever, I could go on and on. But I figured today is a great day to just sit down and do a video, and even though my battery's gonna run out, hopefully it doesn't run out before I finish, I just want to say thank you for a few things. Because I feel like this year has been a year that a lot of stuff has just gone down, a lot of very dark and sad and unbelievable things have happened in this year and it's really hard to stay focused on the good and, and it makes sense I mean it's not always easy to just focus on everything that's that's good and stay positive in a time where it feels like everything's crashing down but I think it's important I think that we are a human race that can just dwell can dwell on the bad or we can choose to dwell on the good and look to the things we're thankful for so it gives us meaning and purpose we don't feel lost because I think a lot of us feel lost. I've felt lost. You know, sitting down on this day of Thanksgiving, I've, I've gotten to really think about the things that I am thankful for and that I have that other people don't have and that's enough. It's enough. So, a couple of things I'm thankful for. Even with the craziness of this election that just happened, God help America, I'm thankful for the fact that I got to vote in it. That as a woman and as a Mexican-American woman, I was able to cast my vote for what I felt would have been great and not a lot of countries could do that. Years ago, we weren't even allowed to do that. We weren't even considered people, <laughs> really, you know, and so I'm thankful. I am thankful I got to vote. Second thing, I am in a grad program. I am in getting my master's degree and again, not a lot of women, even in today's day and age in various countries, have access to education the way that I do and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for the men and women that have decided to give their lives to protecting this country. Whatever feeling you have about war and the military, war sucks, there's no good thing about war, but there are people who care about this country, who care about their families, who care about what we stand for, and are willing to do what we, what I could not do. And so I'm thankful for those people that give up times with their family, who have lost limbs, who have lost friends, brothers, sisters, who have now been diagnosed with various mental illnesses and mental diseases. I love you, I support you, and I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that I live in America, <laughs> and that sounds really just rough right now for what America's going through, but I am. I'm privileged. I get to have, you know, coffee. <laughs> I get to, you know, live in an apartment and do a job I love. I get to walk out of my apartment and not feel like my life is threatened. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I was born in a place where chasing your dream isn't impossible. I'm thankful for my family. That's, everyone says that, but I truly am. They're 3,000 miles away and it's yet another holiday. I'm not with them, but I'm thankful that I am the oldest of seven children. I'm thankful for my parents. I'm thankful for everything good and bad my family has gone through. I wouldn't be me without them, and I'm thankful that I have them because not a lot of people do. I'm thankful that I'm flawed, <laughs> and that I think will be a whole other video I want to do, but I'm thankful that I'm not perfect, and I'm thankful that I don't have to be perfect. I'm thankful that there's opportunity for growth and learning in every situation, and I'm thankful that I get to find it you know like I think that's the biggest thing about this season is is that there is so much to give thanks for and I think the day Thanksgiving is just such a hard day for me because it's a day that commemorates and romanticizes a genocide of a people and people who came here Christopher Columbus was not that great <laughs> and caused the destruction of an entire culture and race and now they're trying to fight for water and, and being treated like they're god-awful criminals and how ironic, right? But I'm thankful that there are people willing to stand up for what they believe in and I stand with them and I support them. This day to me, I don't know, it's a weird day. It's weird, it's a weird day. But for what it represents and being thankful for, I'm thankful that I have what I have and I'm thankful that I am who I am. And I'm thankful for my friends. I mean, 
I have some incredible friends, some friends that have seen some really dark pieces of myself and some friends who have been there through things that not a lot of friends would be. And I'm thankful I get to call those people my friends. I'm thankful for the arts. <laughs> I'm thankful for music and acting and photography and art, and art in itself, like painting and drawing and sketching and graphic design and just, I'm so, movies, directing, producing, all of it. I'm thankful for the arts. They allow you to express. I, I would not be me or understand me, I think, without music and without the art. I'm thankful for Hamilton. <laughs> and I frankly am obsessed and it's probably unhealthy, but the story of who Hamilton was in the music that Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote and, and performed with some amazing and incredible actors and actresses, I needed it. It came at a time in my life where I felt like just thrown in the towel and then I heard that soundtrack and I heard my shot and like a light bulb and a switch went off and I'm just like, I'm not throwing it away and I'm not throwing away my shot. So I'm thankful for music to speak when we don't have words and to describe feelings when we don't know what we're feeling. And I'm thankful for you. If there's anybody who sees this and is just feeling alone and down on this day who doesn't have family to be with, I don't have family to be with today, I'm alone. But if you're someone who feels alone and someone who is really struggling to find something to be thankful for, I th am thankful for you. You're valued and you're important. And in this time where family is so emphasized and, and that can be really hard for people, know that you are so valued and loved. And there are people who care and reach out to those people. Tell them what you need so that they can be that for you. Yeah, that's what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for so much more, but I think those are the things that I wanted to speak about. And I think that we can start becoming a more compassionate world when we start recognizing what we're thankful for and what we're privileged to have and understand that privilege and use our privilege to be there for others. And that's something I'm thankful for. That I do have privilege being me, being an educated woman in America. And my privilege needs to be used to help others. And so that's what I'm gonna seek every day to do. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm gonna go eat pie now. <laughs>